Hi guys, today you will be learning how to animate a butterfly in After Effects. Before we start, we have created a free 3D butterfly green screen without watermark which you can download and use for free from our website. So go ahead and check it out. Link in the description box. Open After Effects and import butterfly transparent images. As you can see we have three set of transparent images. One is the body, second your right wing, and last is your left wing. You can separate the layers in Photoshop or any photo editing softwares. I have provided the download link of the source images below. Make sure you place the body image above the other two images. Now press S on your keyboard, and scale down the size to 63 for both the wings. And place the wings properly to the body image. Now select the right wing image, and go to anchor point. Then change the anchor point position to center left. Exactly like I did. Now repeat the same step with the left wing. Select anchor tool and change the anchor position to middle right corner. Now we are almost done. Now let's begin with the animation part. First thing is to go and enable 3D option on all the three images. If you don't see this option click on toggle switch button below. Once done go and select the right wing layer and press R on your keyboard. This will open your rotation option. Make sure your timeline indicator is in the start frame. Now when you rotate the Y rotation, you can see the wing started animating. Make the value to 0 again. Then change the value to 59 and hit the stopwatch icon to enable keyframe. Then go few frames ahead and change the value to negative 59. Then again go ahead few frames and change the value to 59. You can move the keyframe closer or far to adjust the speed of animation. Now select all three keyframes and easy ease them to make it smoother. Now you can see the animation ends after the third frame. But we want the animation to play continuously. So let's loop it. Go to Y rotation press Alt on your keyboard and left click on your mouse. Go to the expression menu, then go to property and select loop out. As you can see the right wing animation is looped perfectly. Now we will repeat the same steps with the left wing. Select your left wing layer and press R on your keyboard. Make sure your timeline indicator is at the start. Change the value to negative 59 and hit the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Go few frames ahead and change the value to 59. Then again go few frames ahead and change the value to negative 59. Select all three keyframes and ease ease them. Make sure all the keyframes are exactly aligned with keyframes of your right wing to match the animation. Now repeat the same looping process which I mentioned earlier. As you can see both the left and right wing has been animated perfectly. Now let's give the butterfly a realistic flying motion. Let's create a null object. Go to layer, new, and select null object. Select all the image layer and link it to the null object. Now when you change the position of the null object all three images will move. Enable 3D for the null object as well. Press R on your keyboard to open rotation. Change the Y rotation to around 94. Change the orientation value to around 15. Press S on your keyboard and scale down the value to around 34.
select the null layer and press P on your keyboard, this will open position. Drag the timeline indicator to the first frame, and drag the value of the position until the butterfly gets out of the frame. Hit the stopwatch icon to add keyframe. Go few frames ahead and drag the position to move the butterfly forward towards right side. You can adjust the keyframe to make the animation faster or slower. Lastly you can select both the keyframes and ease them. That's it, your butterfly animation is ready. If you want us to create butterfly animation in Element 3D comment down below. If you find value in this video please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.